Hello friends welcome back. After. Understanding of the clear concept of OE. And all the answers of questions related. To we in this video we are going to. See how to calculate the we with the help. Of practical example in Excel file. So. Let's begin. Before to start the. Calculation of the OE in Excel file. Let's understand some of the factors in. Detail. The first factor is total. Available time. This is the total time. Available in a month, week or day 4. Which we are going to calculate the OE. Let's say if you're going to calculate. The OE for the day then the total. Available time will be 24 hours. If you. Are going to calculate the V for the week. Then the total available time will be 24. Hours into 7 days and if. You are going to calculate the we for the. Month period then it will be equal to 30. Days into 24 hours. When the number. Of days in a month or 30 days. In this. Worksheet of OE calculation example. There are the two kinds of cells. We can. See the cells which are in yellow color. And the other cells which are in blue. Color. The yellow color cell is. Indicating that we need to enter the. Value. Here. Let's take an example that. We are going to calculate the we for the. Day and we are having the three shapes. Of. Each of the shift is running for. Eight hours. So the total available time. Will be equal to 24 hours which is a. Multiplication of this number of ships. Into hour per shift. The next. Important factor is plant shutdown. This. Is a time for which machine is not. Scheduled to run, including bricks like. Lunch break, tree break and other kinds. Of breaks. In some cases, if the. Industries are not having the volume. Then there is also the plant shutdown in. The, organi the organization. That means the shutdown. Due to the loss of volume also comes in. Plant shutdown. In our example, let's say. We are having the three ships in each of. The ship is having a 1.5 hour supply. Shutdown. So the total plan shutdown will. Be equal to 3 1.5 hours which is. Equal to 4.5 hours. The. Third factor is scheduled operating time. This is nothing but the subtraction of. Total available time and plan shutdown. In our example, as the total available. Time is 24 hours and the plan shutdown is. 4.5 hours, then the scheduled operating. Time will be equal to. 24-4.5 which is. Equal to 19.5 hours. The. Next important factor into the first. Section is a downtime loss. This is. Nothing but the plant and unplanned noun. Times in your organization. So this. Includes equipment downtime, downtime due. To the setups and changeovers. Let's say. In our example this downtime loss is two. Hours. As this sale is indicated into. Yellow color, we need to enter value. Here. The next factor is idle cycle time. This is a minimum time required to produce a single unit. In most of the cases this is given by the machine manufacturer or machine designer or if it is not given by the machine designer then we need to calculate it by using the time and motion study. In this template we need to insert the cycle time in seconds. Let's say in our example we are having an ideal cycle time of 30 seconds as we are going to use the entire data in ours format then this Cycle time is need to be converted into hour which is equal to 30 slash 360 which is coming as 0.008. The next factor is operating time. This is nothing but the subtraction of scheduled operating time and downtime loss. In our example this will be equal to scheduled operating time of 19.5 hours minus downtime loss of 2 hours which is coming as 17.5 hours. The next factor is net or effective operating time. This is nothing but the multiple multiplication of idle cycle time into total production. For the calculation of the net or effective operating time, we need to insert the values into the second section that is a production data for total production and good production. Let's say in our example the total production is 1900 and the good production is 1850. So the net and effective operating time will be equal to the multiplication of idle cycle time that is equal to 0 0.008 into total production which is equal to 1900 and if you do that multiplication the net or effective operating time will be equal to 15.8 hours after understanding of total available time schedule operating time net operating time the next important element is speed loss speed loss is nothing but the subtraction of operating time and net operating time in our example if we calculate the speed loss which is equal to operating time of 
17.5 hours minus net or effective operating time of 15.8 hours, which is coming as 1.7 hours after inserting and calculating all the values. In section 1, let's move to the section 2, which is a production data. In production data, we had already entered total production and good production. So now we can calculate what is a production result. And this is nothing but the subtraction of total production minus good production. In our example, the total production is 1900 and the good production is 1815. So the production reject will be equal to 50. Before moving to the third section, let us understand the very critical concept. Some of the organization are going to use total available time for the calculation of overall equipment effectiveness. But some of the organization believe that scheduled operating time is a true metric for the calculation of overall equipment effectiveness. Now the question can be in your mind whether you should use the total available time or schedule operating time for the calculation of OE. Well, it is depend on what is the philosoph philosophy of your organization. If your organization believe that total available time is a good metric curve with the calculation of OE based on total available time and if your organization believe in calculation of the we based on the schedule operating time, then you go through the formula which is given into this Excel sheet. Now, if you ask me, then you should go by the calculation of OE by both these formulas. This is because the calculation of OE based on the total available time gives deeper insight to you about losses into the organization. The main reason for explaining this important thing is that I had seen that maximum organization putting their losses into the plant shut down and this is hiding the bigger issues in the organization. In longer term, this will be more painful for the organization. So please calculate the we based on the total available time as well as the schedule operating time and track both these OES. Now let's move to the third section of this OE calculation. Example and that is OE factors. Here, we are going to see the three important elements of OE and that are availability, performance and quality. How we can calculate the availability rate? Availability rate is nothing but the ratio of operating time to the total available time. So in our example that will be equal to 17.5 hours divided by 24 hours. That is coming as 72.9 percentage performance rate. That will be calculated as the multiplication of idle cycle time into total production divided by operating time. In our example, the idle cycle time is 0 0.008 multiplied by total production of 1900 divided by operating time of 17.5 hours. If you do that calculation, then the performance rate will be equal to 95 percentage and the quality rate, which is equal to the ratio of good production to the total production. In our example, the good production is 1850 and the total production is 1900. So if you do this calculation, then the quality rate will be equal to 97.4 percentage. The last calculation in this OE calculation example worksheet is the calculation of OE in which is equal to the multiplication of availability, performance and quality rates. If you do this calculation, then it will be coming as 64.2 percentage. This you can also see in graphical representation that availability is equal to 72.9 percentage. Performance is 90.5 percentage and quality is equal to 97.4 percentage. And if you do the calculation of all these three elements then we is equal to 64.2 percentage. There is another worksheet in this template which is including all the formulas and what is the relationship between different losses of the OS as you are till the end of this video so I'm going to share this Excel template with you. If you want to download this Excel template then you can get it from the description section now at the end of this video. If you have found this information useful please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.